Hi guys, I'm Serenity and if you are new to my channel then welcome. In this video I wanted to talk about why you should have a birth doula or a doula in general. There's different types of doulas. There's birth doula, postpartum doula, and there's also bereavement doulas. And then there's, I think there's a bunch more types of doulas that like are just little subcategories, but those are the main types of doulas. Um, I am a birth and postpartum doula. I kind of mix them both. But, um, so my reasoning for having a doula is, um, number one, it is great to have someone that is a support system that knows a lot about the inside. So if you have any questions throughout your pregnancy and you have a doula, you can reach out to them and they are most likely going to be able to provide you with some research or resources or whatnot and maybe able to give you like the pros and cons to some things obviously not like giving medical advice or anything like that because that's not what we do but kind of give you some of the options that you may have or if you have a question and your care provider brought up um a term and you don't really understand it and maybe they're an obstetrician and you don't feel comfortable reaching out to them and asking or you forgot to ask them at your appointment or whatnot, then you can go ahead and ask your doula and they will most likely know and they can kind of give you a little rundown on what that may mean or whatnot. Um, so that alone is a great resource. Um, number two, they can teach you how, like kind of give you a rundown on how labor and delivery usually goes, what to expect, um, whether you are doing a hospital birth, a home birth or whatnot, they can kind of give you like some of their experience with births and maybe their experience with a um, a care provider or whatnot um, if they are working in your area and there's one more thing there's one more thing I was going to pair with that um, they can help you come up with a birth plan which is important because some a lot of people kind of go into birth not really knowing all of their options and stuff like that like a lot of people I've realized go to the hospital and they just are like, okay, yep, yeah, I'll get an epidural and I'll do this and I'll just lay there and have a baby. A lot of people actually go into the hospital with that expectation when that is like, there's so many more options and stuff like that. And so a doula can help you come up with a birth plan and weigh the pros and cons to each option that you have. And I think that that is important. And they will also know your birth plan and talk to you about your birth plan so then they can kind of help keep that birth plan as much as possible as much as possible because I mean obviously there's some instances that something might not be um available that you wanted during your birth plan or whatnot um and having a doula looks different for everyone so I have been to a birth where all I did was I went in and I just supported the mom through encouraging her through her birth and stuff like that because she also had other people that were there that were supporting her like her husband was supporting her physically by being able to do the hip squeeze and you know being like a person like so that she could lean on and stuff like that and I was just there you know like giving her back massage and encouraging her so there's like one picture of birth another birth I went to I was holding the puke bucket it was a home birth and I was holding the puke bucket and I was holding her hair back I was massaging her back I was um helping the kids whenever they came in and um saying that they were okay and they were like oh like they weren't scared or anything like that um the mom did do a really good job preparing them for what birth would look like and stuff like that but you know just checking on the kids and um so that's another thing with birth and then another labor that I went to I was there from the time that we went to triage which we actually didn't um we went to triage and they're like oh you're not in full labor which she really was but they didn't have enough rooms or whatnot something was going on so they gave her something and said um like you're they said that her contractions were Braxton Hicks but they were consistent for so many hours it was like throughout the night they were consistent and then I think that Whenever she went into the hospital, things got real and she kind of shut down and so that's what it was. But they gave her a thing to slow down her contractions so she could go home and go back to bed. But we were an hour away from the hospital. So we went and got breakfast at IHOP and then we went to Target and walked around and around and around until she was like, okay, I can't take this anymore, let's go to the hospital. So I had my birth ball with us and we were able to, she was able to sit on the birth ball in triage because we were in triage for four hours 
waiting for her to be checked and stuff because they were out of rooms. So I was, she was more comfortable on the birth ball than just in a chair and I was able to braid her hair and give her a back massage. Um, and then once we got into, um, like she went in and got checked and stuff like that, then they were like, okay, yeah, you can come in. And so I was able, they said, you're going to be delivering in here more than likely because we don't have any labor rooms, labor and delivery rooms open. So I was able to kind of set that space up to be more comfortable for her. I set up like the little diffuser and we turned down the lights so she was able to relax and get a little bit of sleep because they did give her um, medicine before that was making her extremely tired because they wanted her, um, her Rex and Hicks contractions to go away and her to go to sleep. So she was extremely tired so I was able to make it a comfortable environment for her and also giving her partner a time to go to the bathroom and get food and rest up and stuff like that. So there are tons of different variations of what a doula can do. Um, and it's really whatever you envision for your birth to be. They can help with um, your other kids. They can help with massage, preparing food, giving your partner a break, massaging you. Like anything that you need, encouragement, like they're going to be there for you. Um, and so that's what I think is really cool about my job is like it can look a whole bunch of different ways and it's fun and exciting and I love being able to help people um, through labor and delivery and help their families and also getting the partner involved in labor and delivery because a lot of times they're like whoa I don't know what's going on like she's screaming she's freaking out like okay well this is what you can do let's you want to go ahead and give her a back massage and just like encourage her and that sort of thing and we also walk through that in um, prenatal visits which I do two prenatal visits with my dual services and in the first one I just really get to know them their birth plan that sort of thing and then in the second one we go over different comfort techniques that um, they can do especially in early labor whenever I'm not there yet um, and so yeah, that's kind of what a doula's job looks like from the birth standpoint. And then postpartum standpoint, um, it looks a little differently, and I'll do a separate video on that. But um, that is really what a doula does and why you would want to have a doula. Even if you are having a medicated um, birth with an epidural and stuff like that, a doula can still be beneficial for helping like, make sure that you're turning over and making sure you have everything, encouraging you. Um, and also giving the partner a break to not feel bad for going to the bathroom or going to get something to eat and whatnot. So, yeah, that is what a birth doula does and why you should have a birth doula. If you are in the, like, Orlando area in Florida and you would like to have me as your birth doula, then I will put my website link below and I hope that, um, um, whether you are in the Orlando area or not, that your birth is beautiful and it goes to plan. So thank you guys for watching.